It's a Harbor Freight bicycle lift. It's pretty similar to what you get off of Amazon or I'm sure Walmart, who knows where else. Many uh, sport, uh, places with a sports section or a bicycle section. Um, Got to be very similar to what there is. Uh, just showing quickly how a few pieces go together here in case you're trying to figure out how to run the strings or something like that. But this is the first bracket. Now we did the installation as they show with a board because as you can see what those screws are in the back and screws here in the front. Um, the, the, the studs that we're going into, the trusses going across here are only there and there and the bicycle is going in the other direction because of the way the garage is shaped. So we put a board up. Might want to use thicker lumber, that's what we had available. If this doesn't work, we'll go thicker. And then I used my own screws instead of what came in the package because I like the Torx heads a whole lot nicer. Um, and they're deeper. Um, but basically you see the setup. Now the, the biggest thing about it is this end right here, the anchor end, it doesn't move. You just push through, you tie a good size knot, double knot is what they say, or even bigger. And just make sure that can't come back down through that hole. Then you run all the way down to your first hook. It's the handlebar hook. And in this case, set it up so that the hooks go backwards because they're going to hook onto the handlebars more easily that way. And that's pretty much the way that's set up. Got to make sure the string stays in the pulley and not over the axle. That's what's happening right now. So I clear that. So now the string is in the pulley and it rides nice and free. But yeah, you go down to the hook, back up, over the front of the pulley and then back down. I'll show you the back one in a minute. The thing I noticed on this, if you notice, see how much room is between the pulley and the uh, shackle that it's inside of? It gives you tons of room for that rope to fall off. So I tightened this up and it was pretty simple. Took a pair of water pump pliers like these, adjustable, and so you can squeeze the bracket around different edges until it tightened up nicely. I'm trying to do this one-handed, sorry. I uh, don't have my tripod with me here. But as you can see now, that space is a lot smaller and it's much less likely for that rope to fall off. Just another good idea. I think I may have even taken. I took and I twisted in these edges just a little bit to help guide the rope as well. Just something else to look at. I may do it on the upper pulleys as well, but definitely on these hook ones because these flop around and twist and everything else when the bicycle's down. As you can see, I located the pulley based on stuff that with the bicycle would have to be up against whenever I was hooking on. But it's a straight lift up to that pulley. So basically that locates the front of the bike. And now I'll just simply take a tape measure and measure to the seat and that will be my distance to my rear pulley up there. But. So now you can see I've got the tape measure, I've got it lined up to about the middle of the pulley on the front. And I've got the hook underneath the seat, that's the way you install it. I'm measuring here to the middle, I'm looking at roughly 32 inches. So that will be where the pulley is located on the overhead pad for the aft location of the uh, bracket on the ceiling. The center will be at 32 inches from the pulley on the, the forward side. So I went ahead and measured 32 inches from the center of the forward pulley back to here. This mark, that is where the aft pulley needs to align. So with it installed, it will line up right there with that 32 inch mark. That will be where the seat itself will be lifted to. Okay, so now we get them both hung. As you can see the aft clamp for going under the bike seat and I squeezed it in so there's not much chance of the rope getting past the pulley. 
and the front clamp just because my mom's bike I had turned around so that the hooks go that way because she has a reflector that gets in the way of the bracket would make it hard to hook and then the top part here the pulley is going straight up and down this is probably the next most complex thing you'll have to deal with and the trick is you run the rope so that it's like that underneath that and the whole thing is if you pull like this that acts as a brake like that but if you hold it straight up and down it runs free kind of like if you have venetian blinds the way you have to pull the string to one side to release or lock and straight up and down does the other same idea here works pretty well So, this is simply how you do it. Bicycle goes right up in the air, nice and easy. It's my father's demonstrating. Yeah, I'm old, fat, and weak, so <laughs> if I can do it, anybody can. It seems like it's more than just a double lift. So. There you go. And if you let the rope off straight down, it has a latch feature, almost like a Venetian blind. Really? That they actually will latch against the pulley and take up some of the slack. And then you get, here's the bracket on the wall, kind of like a cleat for a boat. You just do figure eight and then flip the last one. Or you can coil up all of your rope like my dad's doing so it's not all over the floor in a pile. Because that could be annoying. And we're not sure if my mother will be able to do this. It's her bicycle. And I come up with a crazy idea of using the garage door motor to actually pull the bike up if it ever becomes an issue for her. But we'll see about that. But there you go, that's how to install the uh, Harbor Freight bicycle pulley system. Now I'll we'll have to test out and see if the car fits underneath. Okay, don't get in the Lots of string, looks like it. Huh, I know why Dad said you need a lot of string. I know the string pulleys in the lab, too much string, is a whole lot better than too little. Uh, yes, it is. All right, it's down. Now see if you can go up. That's the test. Stand back, don't pull straight down. Okay, I, I cannot lift my own bike. See, now you're actually using the cam to hold it up between pulls. And you want to go, okay, then I can yeah, just... keep going longer. You want to go all the way up with the pulleys to clear your car. That's good? Yep. I think it will clear the car. Her car is not very tall. 